Hey there, happy Friday. Looks like we might be closing out our week with another one-time champion. Welcome to The Final Wager. I'm Keith Williams. First of all, kudos to Mike for getting that last clue in Double Jeopardy, breaking the runaway that Laura had. Kudos also to Sadie for going big on a daily double in a category that nobody likes. Jewelry, birthstones, gemstones, whatever. Does anyone like those? I think it's... That's a fact primer waiting to happen. I'll get right on that. Now that I'm done with my TOC predictions and statistical analyses, at least for the first round, you can go check those out, putting my neck out for what's sure to be an incorrect bunch of guesses. Guided by data. Lies, damn lies, and statistics. This one's pretty easy. Lord sets away to 2601. That's what she did. Mike went for 6601. Leaving a little money on the table, but forcing City to get it right, I guess, for second place. She recognized that. She went for it. Good job by everyone. Confused? Well, I guess not confused. I shouldn't say surprised either, but just stupid. People on Twitter and other forms of social media complaining about Mike's arm crossing yesterday, and I guess they're probably doing it today, and I'm, I haven't checked recently, but I'm sure they have not so nice things to say about Laura's inflections. Go screw yourselves, guys. Can't judge someone by a 22-minute appearance in front of millions of people for tens of thousands of dollars. Go get on yourself if you're so smart. Anyway, it's Friday. I'm going to go relax or something and watch Wheel of Fortune or something. What about that final clue tonight? Come on, guys. And what about Alex Trebek making a your grandmother joke? God. Your mom, I get, but all right, we'll leave it at that, and we'll see you on Monday for quarterfinal number one. I'm looking forward to it. This has been The Final Wager.